God was into the wilderness and into the desert. Into the wilderness is you're going out and there's everything there. From the desert, it's sand and hot and dry. that we found was he, they made him stand on top of the carpet and um, for the NSRB they placed him on the pinnacle. Uh, the difference is they, the devil took him and then they placed him but then in the New American Bible they made Jesus stand on the carpet. Commanding him, 
and then get away means he um, like he um, is bothered and uh, away with you sounds better because it makes him sound uh, brave and uh, get away um, makes him sound like um, innocent and just different wording but uh, it uh, means the same thing so uh, that's not much of a difference is Matthew is going to tell the story through a gospel writer's mind and he's going to write in the way they were told as if they were in real life. Um, they used uh, modern day words and uh, the setting was um, on a mountain uh, and then he tried to bribe him with bread and uh, on the highest point he he, well, on the mountain of bread and highest point were all three temptations. And then Jesus and Satan were the main characters. And Jesus overcame Satan. So then here it talks about the characters. Jesus, he was tempted by Satan and he's like the good person. And then Satan, he tempted Jesus three times and he's like the bad one. And Jesus overcame him, Satan. Um, the lesson, uh, don't fall into temptation, you should always overcome it, and uh, you should always put your faith in God. In the video, the snake represents the devil and Jesus. When Jesus began his work, he was about 30 years old. He returned from the Jordan, full of the Holy Spirit, and was led by the Spirit into the desert, where he was tempted by the devil for 40 days. And all this time, he ate nothing. said to him, If you are God's son, order this stone to turn into bread. It is written, that man shall not get by bread alone, but by every word of God. the devil took him up and showed him in a second all the kingdoms of the world. I will give you all this power and all this wealth. It has all been handed over to me and I can give it to anyone I choose. All this will be yours then, if you worship me. It is written, you shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. Jerusalem and set him on the highest point of the temple. 
If you are God's son, throw yourself down from here. For the scripture says God will order his angels to take good care of you. It also says they will hold you up with their hands so that not even your feet will be hurt on the stones. The scripture says, you shall not put the Lord your God to the test. So that gave you kind of an idea of what happened. That's not your